What is up this year? LA in a minute, and this weekend is the final of the BNP Paribas Open at Indian Wells, often known as the fifth Grand Slam tennis tournament due to the incredible attendance figures and the overall experience for players as well as fans. So how did the Indian Wells Tennis Garden get to be such a tennis hotspot? Let's get into it. The tournament was founded in 1974 by former tennis pros Charlie Passarell and Raymond Moore. It was originally known as the American Airlines Tennis Games and was the first edition of the Indian Wells Masters, a non-tour event that was initially played in Tucson. The first winner was John Newcomb, who took home the singles title and the $25,000 prize money. Between 1977 and 1989, the tournament underwent several iterations and had multiple sponsors. It was also held as part of the Grand Prix Tennis Tour. By 1989, they finally invited the women for what was then known as the Virginia Slims of Indian Wells. Though at that point, the men's draw was still called the Newsweek Champions Cup. Today, the tournament is played at the Indian Wells Tennis Garden, which has 29 tennis courts, including the 16,100-seat main stadium, which is the second largest tennis-specific stadium in the world. The Indian Wells Tennis Garden ushered in the new era of the tournament in 2000 after a little more than a year of construction, with the first edition of the tournament being the Tennis Masters Series at Indian Wells. Today, the facility is owned by Larry Ellison, entrepreneur who continuously invests in upgrading the facility and has led to the tournament being the best attended tennis tournament outside of the four Grand Slam events. Wow. So Indian Wells has become a premier tennis destination for fans all throughout the world. And the finals are this weekend, so make sure you catch them. All right, LA. All right, Desert. It's been a minute.